Before we start this video, let me just tell you my story. Before I was ever in self-improvement, before any of this stuff ever happened to me, and I like got all monk mode and tried actually fixing myself and working out and everything, I'd be on the couch with my PS4 controller in my hand playing Fortnite. I would grind Fortnite like it was my full-time job. I'd spend so much time on this game and I'd I'd be alone like in the living room just playing Fortnite all day. Everything I did with my life was basically towards getting Fortnite. I'd do lay jobs for my mom to like get time playing on the PS4. I was like a fucking meth addict. Every every behavior I did was directed to the sole purpose of wasting my time. I was very self-destructive and I'm glad I got out of those times. I'm not, I'm no longer addicted to Fortnite. You see, I started, my parents actually started helping me. They're the reason I'm not addicted to Fortnite anymore. But I, I was so, so addicted. And I didn't know what I was doing with my life. But I remember my dad, he got us like a, a weight set, like a bench press, you know, the squat rack thing. And we'd set it up and I'd, I'd like, that was the first time I started actually self-improving. I, I'd still be playing Fortnite, but I'd be dedicating myself like an hour every day. I'd dedicate myself to working out because I wanted a good physique. I'd still play Fortnite, but I like I just work out every now and then, and I I start seeing changes. I I like see that I could add five pounds to my bench press, and that like excited me i'm like i can get stronger i can gain more abilities become turn change the person i am i'm like if i were to keep at this for long enough i could be like you know arnold schwarzenegger or something and that's when i really started seeing improvement and actually having this mindset of working towards something and building something up for my future self because i was stuck in this mindset of right here right now pleasure right now i want to feel happy right now and i was just so hooked on this instant gratification doing stuff that's going to make me happy right now and take happiness away from my future self but then i was getting into this mindset of delayed gratification which is so powerful when you can do something right now when you can do the hard thing right now and delay that gratification to your future self like working out is the best example ever you work out right now you don't enjoy working out no one enjoys the process of working out going to the gym hitting legs but later on your future self is going to have this amazing body and that's delaying the gratification out of that moment you know you could just have played fortnite right now and you've been happy but you have saved that, you've put it into like a savings account to come back to you later to compound over time. You're investing your gratification and making yourself a happier person. That's And through working out and doing that, I started to adopt more struggles. I started to fix more problems in my life. I saw the problem that I had a bunch of acne on my face. I didn't like how I looked. I started tackling those problems. I started trying to eat healthier. I went to the doctor and got Accutane. I fixed these problems. I adopted struggle. And that's what I want to teach to you guys. People who are directionless, who don't know what to do with their lives. Directionless men. My best advice for you is to ad start to adopt more problems. Find problems and start solving them. Adopt more struggle in your life. 99% of everybody who's watching this video needs to start adopting more struggle in their life. You could benefit 99% of everybody watching this video could benefit from adopting more struggle in their life. Your life is easy, let's face it. It's probably something like this. Wake up, brush your teeth, go to school, come home, play video games. I know, I know what your life's like. I have friends, I'm not a hermit or whatever. And nothing ever changes, you're stuck in this cycle. You have no life, let's face it. You, you have all these accomplishments in video games, maybe. Maybe you're like level 200 in Fortnite. Maybe you have 
some super high level in this game I've never even heard of. But what do you really have? Outside of the game? What do you have? If that game, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you have in a game. What matters is what you have in real life. So you need to start, instead of leveling up in the game, instead of leveling up in your game, you need to start leveling up in real life. S break away from the video games and start focusing on yourself. Level up your muscles in real life. In real life, start leveling up your appearance. Start leveling up your health. Start eating healthier. Get more money. Work on yourself. Level up your knowledge. Start reading more. Do productive things with your time. Adopt struggle. Find more problems and fix them. You see that you don't have the best physique, maybe. Fix that problem. Start dedicating yourself to working out every single day. You see the problem that, you know, you don't have the best friends. Dedicate yourself to start talking to more people. You see the problem that you don't have enough money. Fix it. And start working on something start getting more knowledge start learning about stuff read books try stuff online watch youtube videos start doing more productive stuff with your time and stop wasting it because your time is precious you're only young for so long it's not that we don't have a lot of time it's just that we waste it right now you're wasting your time by not taking action you're watching this video when you could be doing something productive like working out but right now, you're on YouTube right now. YouTube is a super addictive platform. It's going to try to feed you videos that are going to get you keep, keep you on the platform for as long as possible. Everybody on the internet, all the social media platforms, they're all fishing for your attention. They're fishing for your attention so they can sell you ads so they can make them more money. It's quite simple. Yet, yeah, everybody falls victim to it. Even I know. Deep down, I know what's going on, and I fall victim to it. I consciously fall victim to it, and it's hard even for me. But you need to start to adopt more struggle and fix problems. For example, some problems I recently fixed, I observed myself, I self-analyzed, and I saw that I have the problem of like a social media addiction. I was addicted to watching YouTube videos, going on Instagram, consuming content, watching YouTube shorts. I had a super addicted to that stuff. And I saw my problem, I deleted it. I committed myself. I put on a YouTube blocker on my PC. I deleted Instagram and YouTube. I made it super complicated. I put on Opal. I put on these blockers that prevent me from spending my time on the platforms. And I adopted that struggle and I fixed the problem. I delayed my gratification. I don't want to feel happy right now. I don't want to take the cheap, cheap hit of dopamine right now for watching YouTube video. I want to delay that gratification and let it compound over time. I want to do the hard thing right now so that my future self has no excuse to feel depressed. I am like, the way you become immune to depression is through delayed gratification because you will do the hard thing right now so later on your future self has no reason to feel sad they have no reason to have the problems or that we're going to make them sad because their life's so good because of what you've done right now delayed gratification is the solution to everything adopting more problems working harder that's how you can start to find direction how you can start becoming that better man so like i said if you're a directionless person find direction and purpose by adopting struggle find your purpose maybe you're meant to make youtube videos online maybe your purpose is to help others in some way you're meant whatever find your purpose find what you're going to devote your time to find a problem that you're going to devote your time to and that problem will in turn become your purpose. For example, my purpose, a problem that I'm trying to solve is other people's problems online, trying to fix your guys' problems through talking and making YouTube videos. That problem in turn could be my purpose. 
Is it? I don't know. I'm just trying this out right now, man. So, you need to find your purpose. You need to adopt struggle. I've said this so many times in the video. Thank you. 